All right, good morning. Today we're going to talk about um, setting up your Revit um, interface so that you can get to your company's project template really quickly. I've seen a lot of firms that have to surf um, and browse, not surf, but browse in their directory structure whenever they want to start a new project. And so they would do something, um, well, like this. Let me show you. Okay. I'm going to put this, put my picture down here. Let's open up Revit 2020 and get rolling with this. I'm going to open up, there's 2020. It opens fairly quickly these days, you guys will notice. I didn't have it preloaded for you. Oh, dear. Now, Revit 2020 is, um, well, let me just give you a quick heads up on that. You guys should be um, using the latest version of Revit on new projects. If you've got old projects that are indeed in older versions, then sure. I understand that um, they need to finish out possibly in that version because you're consultants. Everybody has to be on the same version. If the mechanical electrical plumbing guys are on one version, you have to be on the same version. And so the whole team has to migrate. So that being said, I'm going to just show you in 2020. So you should be on the latest version for all new projects. Just saying, I'm just saying. Okay, here we go. Here's what I'm talking about. When Revit, uh, when you first load Revit onto your computer, oftentimes it's preloaded with pointing, pointers to, in your file locations, to the common um, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, even construction templates. And then if you don't change that, you're going to have to browse for your template every time. So let me just show you what typically people are doing. So if they click over here and they say, I'd like a new project, this new project dialog pops up <clears throat> and on the drop down, you can pick from the different templates that it's point pointing at or that it has preloaded for you. You've got mechanical, electrical, plumbing, construction, whatever has been loaded. And they typically say, oh, I need a new project. So they'll hit browse and they'll dig around on their computer until they find their um, office template and click on it. But you can have it right here in this list ready to go. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now and say cancel. OK, cancel, starting a new one. What I want you guys to do over here on the top left is a little button that will put you over to. Um, it'll switch you over from these recent files over to the actual main project, uh, the project that you would want to open. See, so you can see the main interface, the normal interface here. If I go up to um, the R, I mean the file, and I click on options right here, click on options, the uh, your options for your project are coming up here, and I am going to talk right now about file locations. So when you click on this under options, click on file locations, and here listed at the top are the different project templates that you could be using. Sure, your office may have a specialized template for um, residential work or a specialized template for commercial work or one that's just for your entire office to use every time when you start a new project. And it needs to be here in this list. These that come are just defaults. And so what I typically do, and I'm just going to show you how to do it, is you click on, we got to get rid of these and put yours in here. So you just put your cursor in any one. Like I've, I've highlighted construction default template. And I just hit the little minus button, the red minus, bam, gone. I click on plumbing, bam, gone, bam, bam, bam. Electrical, gone. But when I click on the last one that's in here, I can't get rid of it. I need to put something in here as a default template and then use that, which would be my office template. So I'm going to hit the plus, And that is where it takes you into browsing your computer. You only have to do this once. You don't have to do it on every single project. OK, so I'm going to click on I'm going to go find mine under documents. I've got mine loaded right here. Here's my 2020 template. I highlight it and I say open and it puts it in the list where it should be. And then I can get rid of the final one that I didn't want minus. So now I've got it listed here. My virtual BIM management 2020 template right there. 
And when I say OK, now it's built into this and it puts it in my profile. And, and it is for this computer. I think you have to do this for each computer on your network. But it's really a simple thing. You could send an email to your team, tell them how to do it, or the project manager or the BIM manager, BIM manager ah, could do it for your team. Anyway, now when you click on File, New, take a look. Whoops. Not File, New. I'm going to say um, File, New. <clears throat> there it is. Look. Look what pops up. The one that I selected, the one that's in my list, is right here. And the two would be here if you have a specific one for commercial work and another one for renovation work or um, residential. But my work, I always use the same template for all my work. And your company might be the same. And it'll be right here in the list. So you don't have to go browsing for it any longer. And when you hit OK, it'll open up and start a new project using your office template. So this is how you can set your template in Revit so that it pops up ready for you to use on every new project. All right, so that being said, you guys have a wonderful day and I hope that helps you in your future Revit endeavors. All right, talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.